Hi, welcome to another Interstellar Prime update video. So, pick up where we left off from the last video where we just landed to the Mars city, the Martian city, and now we are in the train station after we landed from the shuttle. So this is kind of a transition and kind of give you an idea of the scale of the game and kind of like the concept of, of where the direction of, of, of the development will be in terms of the realism and you know like the immersiveness of the game so as you can see here it's still empty there's no not a lot of NPC but we do have some NPCs inside of this train so they're just you know passengers uh, we just kind of use a rough crude model um, that we you know quickly put it in there just for a placeholder so here we are in full scale we are traveling um, from that port city, we name it Musk City after um, Elon Musk. If it's legal to do that, I'll keep it that name, but if it's not, I might have to change the name. So um, I don't know if how, how Elon Musk feels about that and, and having his name on a in a video game reference like that. I don't know how, how legal stuff work, but anyway, if, if we're okay, we'll, we'll keep it that way. But for now, we'll call it the Musk City. And now we're um, traveling from that port city, which is where you travel between the surface and the um, the orbit. So now we're getting into the industrial part of the planet. Uh, this is where the water is generated. This is where a lot of people work and live. And this is where um, a lot of your mission is going to be. And this is also connecting to um, the large tunnel network in, inside Mars that you can explore in the full release and um, that you know we'll, hopefully we'll, we have a snippet of that in the early access that's coming in this December so here we are we are in Copernicus this is a um, city that's uh, like mentioned before where you can get a lot of missions um, and I kind of aim this to be similar to Fallout 4 gameplay where you just kind of walk around and get missions so oh, the plane just left there the train just left there but yes you can actually travel to different uh, cities through trains and I plan on to have uh, like a free roam mode as well in this game where you can just go out into the the, the Martian wilderness if you can purchase um, correct spacesuit a combat spacesuit and also the uh, the vehicle that you will need in order to um, survive in the Martian environment unpressurized Martian environment if I may add and here we go this is the underground city with the artificial sky artificial light and all that stuff and it still needs to be populated with NPCs so I'm gonna go ahead and walk around here a little bit just kinda show you around real quick what we have so far so these little tunnels are not completed but this is where you can actually go out to an unconstructed part of the tunnels which is pretty much um, old lava tubes inside Mars that you can explore in the game that you can go in and kinda like do missions fight enemies um, do discoveries find artifacts to uncover more of the game and so on and here we are at the residential area. This is where people live and you can eventually buy an apartment here. And you can actually um, kind of have an apartment and upgrade it and so on. Just kind of like in, in Fallout. And this is one of the uh, water plants and or chemical plants in, in the game. Which um, I will have that later on uh, fully developed for when you come in here and then you kind of talk to uh, the manager oh. which by the way that um, what you just saw there um, the gravity is it's accurate to to Mars right now it's um, like a third or something from Earth but that's why what you saw there when when I kinda drop from the stairs and it kinda slowly falls and that kinda brings another topic of um, this game we're gonna try to have that gravity aspect into the game like if you're on the moon You'll, you'll be using the moon gravity unless you're using the uh, G compensator that covered in the previous video of 
you know, your suit kind of pushed you down towards the asteroid since there's no gravity or very little gravity. Anyway, this is um, under construction. This is part of the full story mode. You go in there and you put in a special suit and then you help with some missions to to expand the city. And then there's some um, like kind of like raiders type problem going on where you um, uh, have this uh, pirate type of group that are just kind of rogue on its own and go and around cause trouble and rob, you know, develop cities. So that's just kind of part of the, the story that's to come. Anyway, here we are, Millennium Inn. This is, if you don't have a house um, or an apartment purchased in the residential area, this is where you can come. In the first part of the game, if you may, in, in the full story mode, uh, not not so much in the um, in the sandbox that you would really need this, but um, in, in in the full release, you're gonna have to um, come in and stay in this hotel in order to uh, you know just so that you don't have to because in the game you will need to sleep and all that stuff. I'll, I'll, I'll get in that get into that later on, but. Uh, as you can see here, you can talk to the NPC, some of them, and you can kind of mess around here a little bit and, you know, kind of talk to the person. So anyway, let's, let's, let's get out of here um, and, and move on for, with the rest of the game. So in the full release, you can actually go out here and go to a, a different shop and then buy uh, different gears like weapons armor that's approved for Mars and also eventually a vehicle that you can go out in in those wilderness and then explore so that's um, that's the, the, the plan here and here we are in the hotel as mentioned earlier you're gonna need to sleep really that's where you save your game but also um, you're gonna need there's gonna be a health meter and nutrients, radiation. It's there's going to be a, a survival aspect to this to this game as well um, that you have to kind of consider. So this is kind of like the detail example of the detail we want to put into this game. Let's kind of kind of show it to you that yeah we want to make this game as immersive as can as it can be. And now you can sleep and save the game and refresh. And there's a view of the city of the must city that we just transfer trans or took the train from and in order to go back to space of course you have to buy a ticket and then get into the shuttle and get back to Remnant City where your main ship is docked but at all times you can actually um, communicate to your crew back in the serendipity and you can actually get their help and support and all that stuff and then eventually in the in the wilderness part of the game which is, you know, you have to buy um, a command truck, if you will, that you kind of have to live off of, but that's going to be really expensive. So you have to do a lot of missions and gather a lot of resources in order to be able to afford that. But once you have it, the gameplay, uh, like covered last year's video game in our earlier um, conceptual uh, video I think that, that we had or uh, earlier update videos I kind of showed you how you can actually have um, uh, RTS mode in the in the planetary mission so there will be that um, the game is all about um, gaining territory and yeah you kind of get the idea so anyway here we are I'm gonna end the video right here it's been 10 minutes thanks for watching and I'll see you next video I'll cover more on um, the in-depth of the Remnant City and how you can walk around in there and then more things you can do, more things you can build, and the things that um, you're going to be able to do in the early access mode that's coming out this December. So uh, stay tuned. Thanks. Bye-bye. Hi. Welcome to another Interstellar Prime update video. Today we're going to be covering the Remnant City. After we travel from one orbit to another, um, one of the destinations that you can go in the game is the Remnant City. The Remnant City is uh, placed in the game 
from the gameplay perspective as a kind of transition between uh, space gameplay and into the um, planetary gameplay, which is kind of like where you would uh, play like in Fallout. You walk around in a third first person RPG mode and then you do missions, uh, you know, there's no flying uh, spacecraft or anything like that, and, but there will still be an RTS mode down in the planetary missions. So um, here real quick just kind of showing you that everything is in full scale and let's take a look at what's the, um, what, what the city is like or what I have in mind for the development of this game. So here we are, we docked at the um, station and I'm going to take the tram here to get to uh, the rest of the Remnant City. And the game is under still con under construction as we know it and this is kind of an empty space right now, an empty uh, vacant space station that uh, still needs to be filled with the NPC and you can go to the Remnant City entrance and take the tram to the actual wards uh, pretty much the city strip that you see down there that's rotating so and what the city is is essentially a place where people live and work um, in space and uh, the in the middle of the city there there's a little squirrel cage where the artificial gravity is being produced by spinning um, the wheel and those strips that you see there is actually buildings and people live down there so hopefully by next video if not uh, the following video I guess so we'll, we'll, we'll try to get um, some content to uh, to populate there in the game so you can actually go in and interact walk around inside of the city and kind of give you an idea of what the full release is going to be like so uh, the early access won't have any missions won't have any quests um, major ones anyway but um, the full release will have a full story mode there that you can play but uh, this is kind of gives you an idea of the world that we're creating setting up the stage for what the full game will be like and that's just all depends on um, how much we can raise uh, through Kickstarter and through early access and this is just kind of give you a bit quick tour, a grand tour of the space station. Even though it's empty, but it kind of gives you an idea of the scale of the game and the detail, the level of detail that I would like to put into the game. So, hopefully, we'll be able to um, hire more 3D artists and character artists that could help us populate this this universe with colorful characters and you know deliver a full experience so what we have right now is we have a transport system that kind of based off of current technology uh, which is before we have warp drive so we don't actually fly our s spaceship into the planet if you may because that takes a lot of energy takes a lot of wear and tear on, on your craft so this is kind of like um, kind of like the next best thing is that you can go back and forth between the planetary surface and the uh, in, in the orbital space by having a transport system like this so think space shuttle and this is kind of inspired by what SpaceX is doing with the BFR and the BFS if you follow SpaceX this is kind of like um, an ins inspiration of that so or inspired by that and this is kind of like a quick cinematic representation of what transition between two types of gameplay would be like in the game. So you have uh, the aerospace or in space type gameplay where you fly the ships around, uh, you fight off enemy in three dimensional kind of flying space with the RTS mode. And now we're back into more of a ground based. Um, game RPG type like in Fallout so here we are we landed and I'm gonna show you around and but I'm going to keep this video short and I'm gonna make another video that um, go in more details on what is the Martian surface 
mission looks like so or how how the development on that is so far so here we are um, going to get off of here and then travel to the train station I'll see you next video thanks